in his third year of eligibility for the Hall of Fame. Reports said Trevor Hoffman would likely get the call, but nothing was certain as close friends and family gathered at his home. You wore your Smedium shirt today. That's yeah, nice. dressed up for you. It was awesome to have my mom be there. We had a, a nice moment at the house before it all went down, and um, she's always been real communicative on how proud uh, she is of all three of her, her children. I look at Tracy with um, with our three boys, and uh, <clears throat> you know her uh, her biggest joy in life is being called a mom, and so <clears throat> I'm not I'm that son too to to my mom, and so I'm lucky got two great women in my life. In the week leading up to the big day, Tracy shopped for warm clothing because if the call came, that meant an overnight flight to New York for the Hall of Fame press conference the next day. And I walked into the store and they just had, she's like, oh, we just got these ACDC t-shirts in. I'm like, really? And I look, I didn't say anything and I see hell's bells on it. And I'm like, oh, I have to get this shirt. This means that he's gonna get in. <laughs> Sons Wyatt in the cap and Brody were there. The third Hoffman son, Quinn, present via FaceTime from Boston, where he's studying and playing baseball at Harvard. Tracy's parents were there, um, certainly huge uh, part of the support system and avid supporters throughout my career. Um, Tracy and I met before I made it to the big leagues and they have been a part of the journey since day one. Yeah, that's, that's a nice t-shirt. Yeah, stains on it everything. Blessed to have my brothers and their, you know, their families there. My extended family with uh, Tracy's sisters, uh, their husbands, Joey and, and, and Eric, uh, the Millers and the Mantis and their children. It was nervous time at the Hoffman house. If there was to be a call, it would happen between 2.15 and 2.45. 2.15 came and minutes passed. Everyone was kind of like, we're in the window. And looking at them and they're all like getting real nervous and everything else, so I go, oh, I gotta call them. My phone rang, um, which was great tester, my ringer worked. As everybody was like, this could be it. This, this, is, this could be it. It's Glenn. It's Glenn. <laughs> oh, I have a missed call from Glenn. Told him, I go, I just wanted to see if it was working. So when they do call, we make sure we get the call. And so that was neat. And it was the per perfect icebreaker. It allowed the, the room to exhale um, in, in hopes that the real call would come. All right, that's cool. Trevor had just seen Jack O'Connell at baseball's winter meetings in Orlando. As president of the Baseball Writers Association of America, O'Connell has the honor of calling new inductees to give them the good word. But as the clock struck 2.23, Still, no call. Hello? Uh, hello, may I speak with uh, Trevor Hoffman, please? This is? Trevor, hi, this is uh, Jack O'Connell with the Baseball Writers Association in New York. And as I told you in Orlando, I've got your phone number and I'm letting you know that the baseball writers have elected you to the Hall of Fame. I appreciate that, Jack. It was a it was awesome seeing you in Orlando. I'm glad we were able to make it happen today. <laughs> well, <laughs> listen, I wish I could have made it last, the call last year, but uh, uh, wow. you went in swimmingly this year, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy that you made it. And uh, like I told you in Orlando, sometimes it takes a little longer than it should, but uh, uh, you're where you belong right now, my friend. Well, I, I do appreciate that. I'm surrounded by a lot of family and friends, and they've been listening to you, and I think everybody's pretty excited. That's for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> to have to sit there after you've gotten good news. I mean, you're excited and not be able to do anything. Um, it was great to be able to, to, to explode like that. It was excitement. It was, it was just pure excitement. Certainly, first and foremost. Um, <laughs> Tracy and my boys being oh, behind me and on a phone um, was 
It was pretty spectacular. Thanks for making it down, buddy. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. I didn't know that the excitement and the joy that would come out of them would be as spontaneous and as raw and as real as when I saw some of the, the video back and the pictures. Um, Tracy was ecstatic and I think it was a relief. The boys were fired up. That was cool, you got to be on the phone, man. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you in a day. You're gonna, you'll be in New York. It's gonna be fun. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Well deserved. Thank you. They earned every minute, every day, every mile. That's what it's about. I'm so happy to you. Um, <laughs> all I could say was thank you, God. <laughs> what an achievement. It's incredible. I'm thrilled to pieces. Let's make a toast. Yes, sir. Come I can't believe that. Go into a room. For all the kids that dream of one day playing the game to get to the major leagues, we got to the major leagues, and you took it a step further to go to the Hall of Fame. An elite class, with class, the way mm. you did it, and the way San Diego embraced you, and you embraced them. Everybody here is proud, and remember, family, no what ifs, and enjoy it. Cheers. Thanks, bro. Yeah. 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 Daddy would be so proud of you. Oh, my gosh. Glenn, that was awesome. Those are strong words. It's kind of very difficult to really wrap your mind around something like this in such a short period of time, but uh, you know, you don't, you, you get, you get to certain places never alone and to be surrounded by so many loved ones and special people in my life that uh, were a part of the beginning of the journey and here towards the end. We're going to have a lot of fun celebrating in, in, in the future, but uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't go unnoticed. Your support was everything that uh, one needs when things don't go well and when things are super, super doing good. So thank you for being a part of this. Thanks for sharing your day and making all the arrangements and sacrifices to be a part of this. Um, I love each and every one of you. Thank you. There was, however, a catch. As Trevor signed his first baseballs as a Hall of Fame electee, the entire group had to keep word of his election secret for nearly an hour so it could be publicly announced for the first time later on the MLB network. I don't think it could have worked out any better. As much as there was some disappointment the year before, to be able to rally um, with a lot of loved ones, close friends, really added to the moment. And uh, it was great to be able to share that. <laughs>